Hi, in this problem, we are going to rationalize. I'm going to show you how to rationalize something whenever you have three square roots in the denominator like this. So I'll start by writing it down again over here. So we have a over the square root of b plus the square root of c plus the square root of d. And so basically, we're just going to rationalize twice. So the first time, I'm going to think of it like this. So I'm going to multiply by the conjugate of this. So it'll be parentheses square root of b plus square root of c, and then minus, you want to switch the sign, square root of d over square root of b plus square root of c minus square root of d. And now we're going to apply the difference of squares formula. The difference of squares formula says if you have x minus y times x plus y, that this is equal to x squared minus y squared. So in the numerator, we're just going to multiply through. I'm just going to leave it on the outside. So a parentheses, and then we have square root of b plus square root of c minus square root of d. So square root of b plus square root of c minus square root of d. In the denominator, you want to think of this as your x, and this is your y. So it'll be square root of b plus square root of c quantity squared minus, and then you square the square root of d. Let's clean this up in one move. This is equal to a parentheses square root of b plus square root of c minus square root of d over, we're going to square this and we're going to do it the fast way. You square the first piece, so you get b. You multiply these and you double them. So plus 2 square root b square root c. You square the last term, plus c. Minus, you square that, you just get d. Let's go ahead and rewrite it one more time. So this is now a square root b plus square root c minus square root d over. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, all, the, all the numbers that don't, all the variables that don't have square roots in the front. So plus so b plus c minus d. And then we have plus 2. And then this is really square root bc. Okay, assume everything here is positive. All right, so now we're going to do it again. So times, we're going to multiply by 1 in a clever way. So this will be b plus c minus d. And you switch the sign to square root bc over. And then we have b plus c minus d minus 2 square root bc. And then continuing in this manner, in the numerator, I'm just going to leave it like it is. When we actually have numbers, you know, you, you actually multiply. But since it's variables, um, I'm just going to leave it. So this is a square root b plus square root c minus square root d times b plus c minus d minus 2 root bc over, and then here, you want to think of this as your x. So this is your x, and this is your y. And again, we're using that formula. It's up here. You still see it on the screen. There it is. So it'll be this squared. So b plus c minus d squared. And then minus, you square this one, right? So when you square 2 square root bc, you square the 2 so you get 4. You square this root, it goes away. So there we go. We have rationalized, right? There are no square roots on the bottom in this problem. So hopefully this has given you uh, some knowledge, right? Good luck.